Grover Beach, what's happening in Grover Beach? We've got the numbers from July. I'll be talking to you about that. What I see for this, this little city um, located here on the central coast, it's, you know, I gotta say, I think it is a hidden gem here for San Luis Obispo. You're so close to the beach, really is a beach community. And the price points when you compare to other cities here on um, in California really can't be beat. There's a lot of, lot of great things happening. Downtown Grover Beach, some luxury condos and overall just some positive things I think uh, happening there on Grand Avenue. Personally, I've lived uh, in Grover Beach for a few years now, so I can give you some insight um, on what what's uh, what the best places to live on, what the best streets are. So if you'd like to locate here to Grover Beach, please reach out. My name is Joshua Ferris. I'm a broker here. I've served the area for over a decade. So happy to give you my insight on the neighborhoods. And if you're looking to sell, feel free to reach out. I can walk you through what my team provides for our sellers and why we get such exceptional results. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you're looking to move or looking to uh, live in Grover Beach. Let me know. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is your July quick update here for Grover Beach on the Central Coast. Let's pull up the chart here for Grover Beach. 14 active listings right now in Grover Beach and that's really no difference when we compare to 2023. But when we compare to 2022, 27, I mean, we've seen a half uh, there when we compare to 2022. New listings up year over year, up 37%. New listings 11 when we compare to eight of 2023, but still down when we compare to 2022 new listings in July of 23. So Grover Beach, smaller city here on the central coast. So we expect the inventory levels, inventory month supply to be pretty low. When we pull up the chart, that's what we see. So inventory month supply, 1.7. So that's quite a bit lower when we compare to other cities here on the central coast. Still up 21% when we compare to 2023, but down when we compare to 2022, which was 2.2 uh, months inventory month supply. So lower inventory month supply that usually indicates a strong indicator that there's high demand for that particular area. And Grover Beach, one of the lowest here on the central coast. So hot, hot area, hot community, hot city, um, definitely a place that people want to live in. And I can't blame them. I, I've really been impressed uh, with Grover Beach. You get some great homes, you get that uh, beach uh, feel, beach community feel. You're so close to the ocean. Great restaurants, so overall, I give it a, a thumbs up as far as Grover Beach um, and the trajectory that I see in the future years. So what uh, can you expect to pay for a home if you're looking to move to Grover Beach? Well, let's pull up the median sales price for uh, Grover Beach and show you a good example of what that means. We can take a look at the numbers, and we can take a, little, take a look at a home that has recently sold for around that price point. So let's pull up the chart. July median sales price, $790,000. That's up 6% when you compare to 2024. When you look at 2023, the median sales price was $742,000. That was down about 4% when we compare to 2022 at $771,000. Price per square foot, let's take a look here. Grover Beach, what's going on with the price per square foot? Well, if we take a look here at July, uh, the price per square foot we can see here 437, which is down 16% when we compare to 2023 at $520 per square foot, trending right around the same as 2022, 535. So I think it's a good time if you're looking to move to uh, Grover Beach, you want to save some money there on the price per square foot. You can see you got a little bit of a dip down there for this last month. Overall, though, You've got limited inventory, limited options to choose from. So that's why we oftentimes suggest to our sellers to reach out to us so that we can find you an off-market property that maybe nobody else has heard about. So if you wanna see uh, uh, those homes that aren't available to the public, feel free to reach out, be happy to walk you through that. What can you buy for the median price here for Grover Beach? Well, Aberdeen Court in Grover Beach is a great example. Sold uh, within the last 30 days. It's a three bedroom, three bath home. Uh, 1,700 square feet. And as you can see here, take a look at this home. Just a great example, sold for $781,000. Not a, 
nice and light, lots of natural light coming in. And looks pretty move-in ready here from the pitchers. And overall, good location at Aberdeen, not too far away from the ocean there. Kind of a smaller outside space, so if you do want a larger lot, you know, you'll be expecting to pay a little bit more. But this one, 1248 Aberdeen Court, great example of what you can purchase here on the Central Coast for uh, the median sales price of Grover Beach. So there you have it, really overall optimistic about Grover Beach here. And if you're looking to move to the area or if you'd like to get a more localized neighborhood update as far as what your home might uh, fetch in today's market, whether or not you're moving out of the area or you're relocating to a different city or maybe just relocating to a different area in Grover Beach, feel free to reach out. Be happy to walk you through our process and answer any questions. We're just here to bring value to you. Stay tuned for our next video. Please like and subscribe. It really means a lot. We really appreciate your support. Hope you have a great day here on the Central Coast, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.